Thursday, the 12th of uh, December 2000, mm -hmm. and um, December 12th, 2019. The time in Delaware, uh, Wilmington, is uh, 2.30 a.m., and the time in Monrovia, Liberia, is 7.30 a.m., and welcome. Uh, good morning, Wakai. Yeah, good morning, Costa. Good, good, good. Um, I hope you're having a good morning. Uh, yeah. All right, good. Um, so, welcome to all of you. Uh, welcome to the show. And um, it's a beautiful day. Every day we get to see is a blessing. It's uh, good to be happy. Uh, thank for the God. Um, what is this thing I'm hearing about Martin Colley being uh, kidnapped? Have you heard anything about it, Walker? Yeah, um, for the past uh, few hours, I've been seeing it on Facebook, but I haven't been uh, able to uh, get in contact with any of the superst to find out what uh, to authenticate the news, whether it is true or not, because it's just been uh, spread on Facebook. Okay, yes, what I'm going to do, I will send you Martin's number right now. Check your okay. WhatsApp. Send me a WhatsApp message, Mark. I don't know. For some reason, I've got your number saved, but there are sometimes you call me, it doesn't show honor your name. Why? Hmm? Let me send your WhatsApp message. <laughs> yeah, send me, your, send me your WhatsApp message. So I'm sending you Martin Collie's number, and I want you to call him up and find out. Whether he's okay. Okay, I got you. How many WhatsApp numbers? How many numbers do you do you have, Paul guy? This is my only number, the uh, <laughs> orange number. Do you know how many times I've saved this number, Paul guy? Okay, there you go. You have it. Martin's number. Give him a buzz. Yeah. Find out uh, whether he's okay. Because I kept seeing okay. this thing on Facebook. Let's find out. Uh, okay, I'm going to save your number for the... Tenth time or so, uh, Boakai Kamara. Uh, of course, I just try his number. Is uh, is off. It's not going through. Um. Okay. All right. So, yeah. but that doesn't mean uh, that does not necessarily mean that he was kidnapped. Uh, yeah, but we need to find out. We, we we need to get to the bottom of it. So I've I've heard this. Uh, I saw people posting about it on Facebook that Martin Cully and uh, was kidnapped yesterday by all new men. Why do people keep saying um, uh, they they can't get any sound? Why? What's what's wrong with the audio? I mean, you gotta restart your phone. If you're not getting audio, it cannot be us. It definitely cannot be us. Uh, because our audio is good. So let's do a sound check here. To those of you who can hear us uh, watching the live video, let us know. Uh, can you hear us? Yeah, but it's clear from our end. I, I, it's, um, sound. it's here Why? now, it's live. What's, what's wrong with the audio? I mean, you gotta restart your phone. If you're not getting audio, you yeah, uh, the audio is good, folks. Somebody said the restart the phone and still no sound then. It's got to be your side. Uh, uh, and check the sound. Check check, check the tuning, Parker. Okay? Check the tuning, please. Let's see what's happening there. Huh? Okay, okay. Yeah. Check it out. Folks, it, it, is, it is not us. Uh, we're very sorry, those of you who are watching via Facebook. The audio is very, very good. So it's got to be your device. Uh, check it. Let's see. All right, so good morning uh, and welcome to all of you. Uh, okay, good, good, good. Um, my big brother Henry Soma says he's he's hearing you and I. Uh, he's hearing the both of us, Walker. He's hearing you, he's hearing me, so it's got to be okay from that side. Uh, good. Now, so yesterday, folks, um, our government has uh oh man they are so anxious they made this huge announcement uh the government is so dishonest 
So dishonest. It's not we are Liberians. We love our country, right? Contrary to what some of you believe, or the government thinks, that we don't love our country. So the government of Liberia entered an IMF program. It's called the Extended Credit Facility. Under the Extended Credit Facility Program that we sign up to, they're making it look like the IMF suddenly give them free money. It's an extended credit facility. It's not a normal, it's not free money. The IMF is simply giving us a credit, an extended credit for a four year period, where they've given us money to go directly to replenish our depleted reserves. When this government came to power, our reserves, uh, central bank at the central bank was around $154 million. That reserve has been depleted from $154 million US dollars, some people say to under $30 million. That's what they did to the reserves. Because they were using the reserve at the central bank to finance government expenditures. They were paying salar salaries. George Ray was taking money out of the reserve. If you think I'm lying, Go back to his speech he made on June 12th, Monday, June 12th, 2019. The president himself admitted that they had been taking money from the central bank and that his government was going to stop taking money from the central bank. Do you know who made him say that in his speech? It was the IMF. It was one of the preconditions to signing up to this extended credit, extended credit facility program that he had to stop taking money from the central bank. Right now, the IMF keeps its eye on the central bank. So George Weah can no longer take... Do you know one of the reasons why the government has been struggling to pay salaries and take care of other uh, very important um, expenditures or, or government operations? It is because the government can no longer do what is called uh, breach financing. Breach financing, governments all over the world do it. You know, I mean where when the central government has no money, at least at the time that it needed, they would go to the central bank and borrow money from the central bank on an arrangement where they take the money and then when the government gets money, when it collects reven revenue, that revenue money is used to repay what it borrowed from the central bank. It's called breach financing, B-R-R-D-G-E. Breach, as in the breach that you walk on or you drive on, right? Breach financing means, when they say breach financing, it means that a breach is something that connects you from point A to point B over a river or a ditch or a valley or something, right? So breach financing, that particular phrase, with well, those two words, it means that the bridge you're crossing is the temporary lack of funds in your account. So you borrow money from the central bank so as to cross you over. That's what it's called breach financing. So George Weah came to power and Samuel Tua kept doing breach financing. Every time they looked, they don't have money, they would go to the CBL and they would take money out. But the, what they were doing is that, it's not that they, they're not the only ones who are doing this or who have done this. Ellen did it a lot. They, they did it. But the thing is that you have to put the money back. When you take the money from the central bank, you have to put it back. But what they were not doing is that they were not putting the money back. So they depleted the reserves. And in the statement by the IMF a few weeks ago, they said it. When they announced the, that a program had been signed, it was, I think, October the 28th or the 29th. That was uh, two months ago. The IMF announced that part of the support that was going to be given, uh, and they said it was going to con consider the approval in the first part of December the first part of December 2019 and they have the IMF has approved a facility a total package of 213 million dollars under now it's tricky a lot of people don't understand this stuff I have to really take some time to explain it not that I'm any expert but I've done some research I've consulted with some people and I've got a little bit of idea so I'm not gonna try to project my views here as those of an expert. I'm just telling you based on what I have researched and what the IMF program is all about. Your government will not do this. They will not tell you because they want you to think that the IMF has suddenly given them free money. What we've done to ourselves as a country 
is that we've signed up to a straight jacket IMF program, which is essentially uh, an economic and financial governance program, which is detected to by a foreign entity owner, the IMF's uh, infamous Structural Adjustment Program Initiative. Now, uh, many of our people, most of our people don't know what this thing is. It's a very bad thing. The IMF does not save countries. The IMF has no history of saving any country anywhere in the world. To the contrary, the IMF's programs actually have brought governments down. The IMF would come in with these uh, with this cocktail of things that they would tell you. Uh, you can't do this. You can't do that. You can't subsidize this. You can't do this. You got to cut this. You got to cut that. You got to cut this. This is how the IMF operates. The IMF is not a lifesaver. The IMF does not come in to save your country. What the IMF does is that it gives you this money, which is a loom, it's a credit. That's why the name of the program is called Extended Credit Facility. And a particular purpose for this is to help fix our balance of payments problem. Now, what does that mean? What does that mean? This is what you need to understand. Essentially, what the IMF has approved for us is 155 million in SDR. Now, what is SDR? SDR means special drawing rights. And today, at today's rate, one dollar in SDR is the equivalent of one hundred and thirty-eight dollar in regular in regular normal dollar. So, when you multiply one fifty-five at the rate of one uh, at, at the rate of one uh, one three eight. That is $213 million. I hope you understand. It's a little tricky. I'm not going to go too deep because I'm not an expert. But it's $155 million in SDR. And I will explain what SDR is. And the value of one SDR is $138 regular or normal dollar. That's what it is. One SDR is like an exchange rate. One SDR is valued at $138. So the IMF has given us $155 million in SDR or the normal value of $213 million. So now we know it's $213 million to be disbursed over a period of four years. Now, the initial amount that has been approved to be given sometime in February, which is not even next month, but month after next, is $23 million. So $23 million is going to go directly to the central bank into the central bank let me repeat it is not money for the government to spend it is money to go directly to the central bank it is a credit facility this money is not free liberia will pay this money back now the reason why this money goes to the central bank is primarily to help cover or to finance in inputs i guess you're wondering what does that mean to finance inputs okay let me explain a little bit to you there's something called balance of payments Hmm? Balance of payments. What does balance of payment mean? Balance of payment means Liberia exports iron ore, rubber, some cocoa, and some amount of other materials. When we export those materials, we collect foreign exchange or we attract foreign exchange. Foreign exchange means money, USD. That foreign exchange we needed in our banks so that when the importers, the Lebanese, the Indian, the big business people who import different types of goods, different types of commodities, when they need to Im import, they go to the central bank, for example, and, and be able to find USD. One of the reasons why our exchange rate crisis came, came about is because of the the, the the shortage of USD in the Liberian market. Because of the shortage of USD, business people who sell in LD and USD, they use the LD to purchase USD in order to be able to reorder new goods, to bring in new consignments or new commodities. So because of the demand for USD, it caused, it put a stream on the Liberian dollar. And don't forget, they're using the Liberian dollar to purchase the USD. So that caused 
a string to be placed on a Liberian dollar. And that string led to the depreciation in the Liberian dollar because, number one, we're not exporting much as we used to. The amount of rubber we use to export has reduced. The amount of iron ore we use to export has reduced. The value of the iron ore in terms of how much money is being sold for has reduced. The value of the rubber has reduced. So Liberia is not fetching as much foreign currency from the from the export of these chief these these raw materials. Also, Unmill used to spend around thirty million dollars a month in Liberia. They pulled out, so we lost a lot of USD when Unmill pulled out. Uh, the expats, all the other N NGOs that were operating in the country, many of them either scaled down their operations or they pulled out of the country completely. So when they did that, it saw the country lose a significant amount of foreign exchange. So thereby, Liberia does not have enough USD to finance imports because importers do not take LD abroad to buy goods, they take USD. So that is what you call a balance of payments crisis, which is that you're not exporting as much, but you're continuing to outsource or to reorder goods or to buy stuff from abroad using foreign exchange. So the IMF said, okay, part of the reason why your currency is depreciating is because your exports have dwindled or diminished and your inflow of foreign exchange has also, as a result of that, reduced. So what the IMF said we're going to do under the Extended Credit Facility Program is that we will provide you USD, which is like the oxygen you need to keep your economy afloat, to be able to finance inputs. Listen to this. This money, the initial trench of which goes into the central bank, guided, monitored by IMF people, is $23 million. It is expected to be deposited into the central bank or transferred into the central bank um in february of next year now this 23 million dollar is not for the government to spend in fact the government has not been able to borrow any money from the central bank since june of this year now listen to this this is critical the purpose of this money going into the central bank is when say george haddad let me give an example businessman george haddad he sells what uh different types of commodities and he also sells vehicles i'm just giving a, an example when george had sells his goose he needs to reorder goose from his supplier from his different suppliers george had needs usd to be able to transfer that money for to pay for his order or to finance his orders so the money that the imf is sending to the central bank is so that when George Hada wants to, to pay to buy new goods, to reorder in order to restock, eh? George Hada would not have to go to money changers, to the fuller money changers, or to the other money changers. No. George Hada would now be able to go directly to the central bank and say, I would like to place an order with my supplier for five containers of butter or baking flour whatever it is he wants to order so now he would give the central bank all of the liberian dollars in his possession and the central bank would then do what the central bank would then convert that ld into usd and make the transfer for him you see that so george hada would not have the usd that he needs to reorder John Hada would not need anymore to go to local money changers to look for USD. It is that search for USD that causes the stream on the LD, that causes the further depreciation in the LD. That's what they call balance of payments problem because we're not fetching enough USD because our exports have diminished in price and in quantity. So now Mr. George Adam would be able to find USD at the central bank as opposed to looking for it on the black market or out there in the market. I, I want you to understand. So the money that the IMF is sending is not for George Weir to buy cars for government officials or for himself. It's not for him to charter a private jet. 
It's not for him to do any of those things. That money is being closely monitored by the IMF at the central bank. That money is to finance, is to finance imports so that business people who have to import do not have to go looking for money outside. Take for example, Total. Somebody is asking me, commercial bank. No, the money goes to the central bank, my, my friend. It's not going to commercial banks. <laughs> Come on. It's SDR money, IMF money goes to the central bank. It does not go to commercial banks. Listen, there's another thing you need to know. Another thing you need to know is this. The, the IMF has people in Liberia at the Ministry of Finance, at the central bank, at the LRA, and perhaps other places. They are monetary stuff. So this money is not going, it's not for you to spend in the economy, folks. Uh, uh, my uh, my friend uh, K K K R C Gibson, you say jumpstart the economy. No, the money is not to jumpstart the economy. The money is not to jumpstart the economy. The money is to help with the lack of USD in the in the economy. It should ease. It should ease the inflation. I mean the. Um, it should ease the further depreciation of the Liberian dollar against its American dollar counterpart, but it is not meant to go spend to do government stuff. It is meant to be kept at the central bank. That is it. Now, somebody is saying the central bank is George Weah's house. Let me, that is not true. Since June, the IMF has been basically controlling the central bank. I want to say this. Let's be very honest here. You know, sometimes we... we 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 fail to follow things as they happen. George Weah was instructed by the IMF to make it clear in a public speech in June. On June the 12th, he made a statement that the government will no longer take any money from the central bank. The IMF controls the central bank. The IMF controls the central bank. So you have to understand this. George Weah does not take money out of the central bank anymore. That is the reason why the government has been struggling to pay salaries because they no longer have access to the reserves from the central bank. So you have to understand this. You know, we can't politicize everything. And it's my job when I know the facts, I have to tell you the facts. George Weah does not have access to any money at the central bank anymore. But the dishonesty of this government is that they're making this thing appear that the IMF is giving us free money. This is not free money. This is called the extended credit facility. It is the IMF that detected to the government to lay off 400 people from the central bank who were not qualified and who were not properly hired. The IMF detected that. The IMF detected to the central bank that you must fire 400 people. They fired them. You remember the last time we read that thing you all were talking about, significant prior actions. The IMF, under the IMF program, the Extended Credit Facility Program for Liberia, for economic and financial assistance to the country to help fix our balance of payments pro uh, problem and stuff, and stuff like that. The IMF said something. The IMF said there will be significant prior actions that the government must meet. And one of those significant prior actions was that the government was to fire 400 people at the central bank. And the government did that. You all, you, you all remember. So basically, this assistance is provided to us because we are a member country of the IMF. And so you have to understand that. The money is not given to George Weah, but George Weah's people hmm, are trying to make it sound like or appear like the money is for them. The money is not for them. It's the SDR, Special Drawing Rights. And I, and I said I was going to tell you a little bit about what the, the SDR is. Now, the SDR or Special Drawing Rights, uh, it refers to um, the international type of monetary reserve. It's a monetary reserve currency created by the International Monetary Fund. So what it, what is it exactly? It's a currency. As I said to you, to this value is one SDR is equivalent to 138 USD. So the IMF has approved 155 million dollars for us. The the the, the, the value as today's rate. Is two hundred thirteen million dollars. Now, this was created in nineteen sixty nine by the IMF as a supplement to the existing money reserves of member countries. So, all the member countries of the IMF in since nineteen sixty nine have access to this fund, to this reserve held at the IMF. It's called SDR. Once you are a member of the IMF, 
you have access to it under the SDR initiative. It was created in response to concerns about the limitations of gold and dollars as a sole means of settling international accounts. So the IMF created this. And the purpose of this is to augment international liquidity, to make sure member countries have access to money and they can, and, and they can be liquid by supplementing their standard reserve currencies. So when you have a problem with your reserve, in the case of Liberia, we have trouble with our reserve because we are depleted it from 154 million to under 30 million or so, we're told. So the IMF step in and say, hey, you have to stop. So the IMF comes in now with this initiative called the Special Drawing Rights. Liberia, this is not the first time. We got a lot of it on our Ellen when Mills Jones was at the Central Bank. So this money is a credit facility that is provided on a, a 1969 initiative. An initiative that was created in 1969. It, it did not start today because of George Ria. No, no, it did not start today because of that. It's been around for a very long, long time. So I just want you to understand that before people start running with it or the government trying to make it make it seem same like they, they 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 were giving this money because they like George Weah or oh, no they didn't do it because they like George Weah they're doing it because Liberia is a member of the IMF and there is a 1969 program or initiative created to help member countries as a buffer when member countries are going through what we're going through a balance of payments crisis a limited a lack of uh, sufficient liquidity you don't have access to enough money the IMF comes in under the extended credit facility or the rapid credit facility our program is called the extended credit facility it's spread over a period of four years so for four years the IMF will basically we're on an IMF economic and financial governance that's what it is for four years the IMF will control essentially our economic and financial governance uh, management. That's what the IMF go, is going to do for the period of four years. During the, this four-year period, they will keep disbursing this money, $230 million. They will keep disbursing it into the CBL, not to the consolidated account or the government's account. So I wanted to spend sufficient time this morning to educate our people so they understand what this is. The first tranche, T-R-A-N-C-E, the first tranche of this money, the first amount, tranche, will be sent to the central bank in February. It's $23 million. George Ria will never lay eyes on this money. He will never see any of this money. He will never even smell this money. He will nothing. He will have no access to this money. I want to tell you that. So they're not giving it to him. The IMF has people deployed at the central bank. They have people deployed at the LRA or working with people at the LRA. They're monitoring. And for this money, Josria is going to have to do many, many things differently. The IMF essentially detects to us now. We're on almost what you could call uh, economic management or receivership, essentially. That's what it is. So the IMF could tell us today when they wake up in the morning, they will say, you know what? We want you to reduce this budget or cut this one or cut that one. And we have to do it because we sign up to this pro program. So I hope I have provided enough education on this particular thing because the government will not do it. The government is making this look like they have free money from the IMF. That is not the case. And this is not free money. It's a credit facility, extended credit facility over a period of four years. So I hope I have explained enough so you understand what this is. Good. Now let's move on to something else here. Um, I want to do this as a happy birthday treat for Michael Manja. Uh, Michael Manja is a member of uh, uh, Friends of Henry Costa, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania chapter. Michael celebrates his birthday today, December the 12th, uh, 2019. Michael, I want to say happy, happy birthday to you, Michael Manja of Friends of Henry Costa, Philadelphia chapter. And I uh, wish you all the best. Now, yesterday, Representative Yeke Koluba went public to say that uh, the government has printed or has brought into the country brand new banknotes. Now, Yeke displayed um, 
thousands and thousands of Liberian dollars, Liberian dollar banknotes in the five hundred dollar uh, denomination, thousands of dollars. Yeke Koloba went to the bank yesterday, GT Bank, and he received some money from his account, and uh, most of this money, all of this money he got was LD. He came outside of the bank in on Taiting Street in Singko. And Yeke displayed the money. Thousands of dollars. There is a video there. Yeke sent me a copy. Uh, he, he sent me pictures of the money. He displayed the money to the press, to the, to the public that was watching. And uh, so the question remains, did the government print new money or did the central bank have this money all along? What was the government doing? Now, listen to this. I don't know. But this is what I know. GT Bank, over a month ago, listen to what I'm about to tell you. This is what I know for a fact. What I don't know, I can only speculate or ask questions. But this is what I know. GT Bank is one of the banks that does salary payments for government workers. Members of the legislature, members of the executive or workers in the executive, I mean, in the executive branch and all. So, GT Bank, over a month ago, made a request to the central bank for 100 million Liberian dollars for the purpose of settling salary payments. Listen to this. When GT Bank made the request to the central bank for 100 million Liberian dollars over a month ago, the central bank informed GT Bank that they did not have 100 million Liberian dollars that they could not provide 100 million Liberian dollars to the bank. Why did GD Bank make that request? Because GD Bank, when the government makes deposits into their various salary accounts, say for the legislature, part of the salaries for the legislature is paid in Liberian dollars. So the bank has to request the money from the central bank because that's where the government money comes from. They credit the the accounts, the various accounts with the commercial banks, and then the commercial bank would then do what they call direct deposit <coughs> into the accounts of the individual government employees. So GT Bank made a request to Central Bank. We need to pay salaries for your government workers. So we want 100 million Liberian dollars. The Central Bank told GT Bank that we don't have 100 million Liberian dollars. This was over a month ago. So GT Bank could not settle the government's own salary obligations to its employees because the government said through the central bank that they could not deliver on a request by GT Bank to provide them $100 million. Listen to this. Then on Monday, bam, Monday evening, I say Monday evening, Monday of this week, GT Bank receives a portion of the $100 million that they requested over a month ago. Oh! So the government, through the central bank, had told GT Bank that they did not have any Liberian dollars in their vaults. Then on Monday evening, GT Bank, the central bank calls GT Bank and says, Hey, we're going to give you a portion of the uh, $100 million you requested. So GT Bank itself gets concerned. But where is the money coming from? Now, I don't know the case with other banks, but according to my investigation, because Yeke Koloba got the money from GT Bank. So let's focus on GT Bank. That is where Yeke got the money from, the Liberian dollars. So GT Bank received several tens of millions of dollars on Monday evening from the central bank. The very central bank that said that they did not have Liberian dollars is a same central bank that now provided millions of Liberian dollars to GT Bank to cover salary payments. Ah! So Representative Yeke Koloba goes to the bank yesterday to, to, to draw money from his account. Ah, there's a problem with our connection with uh, Roots, the internet. Uh, hold on, folks. I have a little connection problem. Uh, 
let's see i have a little connection problem a little connection problem here yeah. so okay boy guy yeah, of course, you're back on. Okay, good, 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 good. Folks, we're back on. We're back on Borkai. Check the tuning, check the my tuner, check the website, check everything, you know, make sure everything is okay. Um, yeah. Okay, good, good. Good. So, as I was saying, uh, folks, I just got word that one of the commercial banks is doing a layoff. They're laying people off. They're laying off workers. Yeah, but I'm not going to say too much to that until later on. One, one, one of the commercial banks that is really, really suffering, they're laying people off. As of today, they're laying off workers. One of the commercial banks. I, I, will, I will not say too much to that until later. But as I was saying, so yesterday, so Monday evening, GT Bank gets a call from the central bank. A call that says, we're bringing you money. But did you just not say, my sister Howard Mesca? I, I I know nothing about Martin Colley, uh the situation of Martin Colley. I asked uh, Bwakai to call him, and uh, we have not been able to get a hold of him, so I know nothing. Uh, I can't I can't say anything that I don't know. You say as you elaborate on Martin Colley, I don't know anything. I know Martin graduated yesterday, and uh, that's all I know. I saw last night on Facebook that Martin was kidnapped, and. Uh, so I don't know where he is. I know nothing about it. And we tried to place a call to him and uh, the call kept bouncing back. So that's all I know. I cannot elaborate on something that I do not know about. Um, so yeah, so we hope Martin is safe. We hope he can be found. Good. But back to what I was saying. So GT Bank receives millions of Liberian dollars on Monday from this from the central bank. Ah. Listen, did the central bank not tell GT Bank for over a month since they made a request for 100 million Liberian dollars that they had no money? So where did the money come from? That's the question. The central bank said that they had no money. That they had that they didn't have Liberian dollars. But then on Monday evening, they provided tens of millions of Liberian dollars to GT Bank. That is some of the money they give to Yeke Kolba. $500 bills. So the question here is, folks, the question here is, how in the world, how in the world did the CBL get millions and millions of Liberian dollars about a month and a week later after they said they didn't have any money at all. Now, did the central bank lie to GT Bank? Have they been lying to the commercial banks that they do not have LD? Or were they deliberately holding, were they deliberately hoarding, they call it hoard, 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 hoarding, H-O-A-R-D-R-N-G. Let me be very careful so as not to be <laughs> like that guy, the undocumented, uneducated <laughs> guy in uh, uh, Canada. But the issue is, has the central bank been engaged in hoarding? Have they been deliberately refusing to supply the commercial banks with money so as to create this artificial shortage of Liberian dollar so as to cause the rate to be artificially adjusted in favor of the Liberian dollar? Did the central bank deliberately stifle the Liberian market of LD in order to create an impression or to force the rate to drop, which has not had any real effect on purchasing power and commodity prices? Because prices have not dropped. Bagat, have prices dropped? Not yet. Not yet. Nothing. Even the scratch guy is still the same. Thank you. So the rate drop by price of Indra because it's an artificial uh, thing. So did the government do this deliberately? Did the government deliberately hold H O A R D to hold you? You got something right. You want to create an artificial scarcity of it, so you keep it. 
Did the center bank deliberately withhold you a Liberian dollar from, 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 from the market so as to create the impression that there's a shortage of it and therefore warrant give justification for the printing of new money or did the central bank print that money and bring it into the country recently those are the two questions now because nobody trusts the government so Eugene Nangwe spoke yesterday and said the government did not print any money the money you see is money the central bank had but they are only releasing it now but do you believe Eugene Nangwe that is the question folks do you believe Eugene Nangwe this is a government that lies. The government has been saying repeatedly that they, that they don't have any, any money. So then where then did they find this money from? Boakai, that is the question. And Costa, and, and uh, another thing is that they're infusing the money now into the uh, market. Uh, the scarcity of the U.S. dollar would be uh another thing because when once you are another money like you said previously that there is no money on the market mm -hmm. or you you don't have money and then you add this extra money on the market now all of the ld will start to chase after the small day us dollar that we have in the country then once again the u.s rate start to go up that's another thing that we should be looking at there you go that is a yeah. that is a problem that is a problem so the situation here is you want to put Liberian dollars in circulation now. Check the tune in, please. Somebody is complaining that it is not on. Uh, you know, you want to supply the market with, with LD now. So you're telling us you did not print this money. Now, we know you just brought in two containers. Two containers. We got the video. We posted the video. So you brought in two containers of money. And you tell us that the money you brought were entirely USD. But we don't trust you. We don't know whether this is even true. Huh? You know? Um, I, I, I just received some message here. And yes, we are soliciting inf information on Martin Cully. And I just received a message here from a friend that I know personally and I trust. Uh, this is what I'm told uh, from this friend, and it is, uh, uh, we can corroborate it, but I trust this source. And he says in this message, Martin was taken by men believed to be Sabu unit operatives at around 4 p.m. yesterday. Uh, the men were carrying knives. The people who were with him put up resistance, but he yielded no fruit. The reason for which you're not getting him when you call is because his phone was with a guy called Francis. But Francis was beating mercilessly and Martin's phone was taken away from him, Francis. This information is from someone who was with Martin when he was taken. So that is the information that we're getting. That Martin Cully was kidnapped and Martin's phone was taken away. And uh, Francis was with Martin and he too was beaten and so there is no way Martin Cully could be hiding under some cave somewhere we don't know Martin to be a heavy drinker that he could have gotten so drunk uh, on his graduation day and would not be able to answer his phone or to do a post on Facebook to say here I am I am okay don't worry about me no I don't think that's possible uh, Martin must be held somewhere against his will, as was the case with Justina Taylor. And what did they want with him? What do they want with him? I don't. I don't know. But there, it is not possible that Martin Cully is in the comfort of his home, safe and sound, and 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 and, and not able to tell uh, those of us who are concerned about him that he is okay. It is not possible at all. So what do they want with Martin Cully? I mean, they said 4 p.m. yesterday. That's broad daylight, Boakai. 4 p.m. is broad daylight. So what do they want with Martin Cully? That is the issue. That is the issue. Uh, this is a, a very, very... Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, so we are very concerned about Martin Cully. Uh, that's the information I just received from a friend. 
uh, you know, about Martin Kali. And they say they were in the same vehicle. Uh, somebody said they just spoke with his in-law. She confirmed it. And that uh, Martin Kali and, uh, a, and, and this young fella were in the same vehicle from uh, uh, leaving the SKD as the stadium uh, where the program, the graduation program was held yesterday when some unknown men pulled the other guy out of the vehicle. It was the fellow that called Martin's girlfriend and told her about the incident. Jesus Christ. So they're kidnapping people in broad daylight now? Broad daylight, man? So where is Martin Cully? And this thing is scary, eh? It's very, very scary. It's very, very, very scary. Where is Martin Cully? That is the issue, folks. Now, you all need to make a lot of noise about this. I have 1,900 people watching here live. And if 1,000 of you can post all over the place, bring back Martin Cully, let's create a lot of awareness. Let's, let's, let's get them talking. Let's get them con concerned. I don't know anybody in the opposition who would want to harm Martin Cully. Nope. The only people who would want to harm Martin Cully would be people loyal to the regime, operatives of the regime. And uh, I, this was not an arrest. It was no arrest. Uh, it was no arrest. What kind of arrest? I don't believe that they arrested him. This has to be something done by shady, sleazy government loyalists. It can't be arrest him for what? Because if you arrest him, then that would mean it's official. He might have done something wrong. But what did Martin Cully do wrong? This is terrible. Intimidating people, kidnapping them in broad day. and This is, this is absolutely uncalled for. It's, it's unacceptable. And, and, and this is very, very wrong. Now, folks, something else I want to talk about, but let's not let this Martin Cully thing die. You know, uh, I mean, these people are dangerous people, man. Anything happened to Martin Cully, God forbid, will blame this government. Anything, if anything happens to Martin Cully, we will blame the government. God forbid. We don't want anything to happen to him. God forbid. If a hair on his head is, 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 is not looking right when he, when he comes back, we will blame Martin. We will blame the government. Sam for Dennis, aka Carlos. Your friend Terry Genesis wants me to do this for you as a birthday shot. Um, as a shout out on your birthday. I mean on your wedding. Uh, uh, Terry tells me that you recently tied the knot. You 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 got married and he wants me to do this as a wedding uh, congratulatory uh, congratulatory treat for you for you. Uh, congratulations to you and your madam. You tied a knot on Saturday of last week. And we wish you, I want to say congratulations. I wish you a blissful union. So Martin Kean Cully, uh, anybody who knows the whereabouts, please uh, let us know. We're very concerned. Martin is one of our uh, loudest voices of reasoning. Uh, he's a patriot. Uh, we don't necessarily always agree, but we agree on one thing, on Liberia. Uh, he's a fine young, young man. We've been allies for a very long time. I don't think Martin and I, and I have ever had a public disagreement. Mm -mm. It's never ha happened. That's how very cool he and I are. We've never had a public disagreement. He's a very decent young man. You know, um, you you know, he may not take up every cause that you take up, but he is a patriot, and and I've got a lot of respect for him. He's a very brilliant young man, and uh, very patriotic. And, and it's a shame that this is not the first time they've harassed him. Uh, a few months back, uh, 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 Martin was picked up and they rough him up. They even, yeah, sure. yeah, and, and, and they dropped him somewhere. So uh, Martin, we, we're very concerned about you, man. You know, this is and, just and, not and, right. Because my fear is that uh, the soupist uh, the, the, on the university campus, once they read it, their military is not around. Huh. They could make trouble. Their government, they could make trouble in the country. That's my fear also because uh, he's one of their leader, and they can't just be sitting. Uh, this is sad. Man. About. It, yeah. it, it has just messed up my whole day. Just imagining, knowing what they did to Justin and Taylor. God, God forbid. Where do they have Martin? What that? What are they doing with him? It's it's, it's very worrisome. It's, it's worrisome. Now, folks, let's go on to some, something else here. As I said, keep spreading the word. Martin Colley has is, 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 is been held some, somewhere in some dark room somewhere. 
God forbid, only God knows what they could possibly be doing to him. Yesterday, the Council of Patriots spoke, addressed the nation, and in response officially to Musa Dean. And of course, the statement of the Council of Patriots is out there. And uh, uh, I will try to find some time to read the statement for you this morning. It's a pretty long statement. But the Council of Patriots addressed the nation yesterday. Its acting chairman, Mr. Mohammed Ali, a.k.a. Mo Ali, uh, presented a statement flanked by Dr. Jeremiah Wapo, an executive of the Council of Pat Patriots, and Reverend Saley. He is the chaplain of the Council of Patriots, also an executive of the Council of Patriots. Honorable Yeke uh, Yapawolo Koluba was present at the press conference yesterday. Uh, and uh, he is also an executive founding member of the Council of, Pit of Patriots. Uh, I have here a communication, folks. There is a serious problem brewing in the Interreligious Council of Liberia. Listen to me. I did not make a mistake. I did not stutter. There is a big problem brewing within the ranks of the Interreligious Council of Liberia. President Kotu Brown, the president of the Interreligious Council, is under serious tension. Kotu Brown, you know the church leaders and the Muslim and church leaders and the Christian leaders who when met George Weah on Thursday of last week, collected some money from him, went and issued that statement of condemnation of the December 30th pro 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 protest, and then they then decided to write us to invite us to a meeting and we said we're not going to sit down with them yes well they are in trouble they are in trouble they are in trouble the members of the of the organization they are not happy with them executive members of the interreligious council of liberia they have written uh mr uh, 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 President Kotu Brown and they have told Kotu Brown they are asking, they are, they are citing him to a meeting. Now listen to me because of what they did they are complaining, I have a letter here that they wrote. The meeting they have cited Kotu Brown and Kotu Brown is begging them not to go public fellow Liberians as I speak to you there is trouble within the ranks of the Interreligious Council of, Li of Liberia Koto Brown is in trouble with his executives. He is begging them not to go public because they are very disappointed in him for taking a unilateral position to speak on critical national issues without the blessing of the executive committee of the Interreligious Council. Particularly the issue of the December 30th protest. His comments, his press statement that was issued did not meet the blessing of the executive council in absolute contradiction or in contrary to the uh, standing uh, to the regulations and the constitution of the Interreligious Council. Apparently, Mr. Cotto Brown is supposed to meet with the, the body, seek the body's endorsement before speaking on any national issues. But according to them, Cotto Brown did not do that. So some executives Somebody just sent me a message that uh, they've got information. At this point, anything we hear, we got to put it out there. Uh, re regarding Martin Colley, somebody just sent me a message that uh, uh, her sister-in-law just told her that Martin Colley um, is being held. Uh, that Martin Colley is being held at the, at the NSA underground facility. Somebody just sent me a message that Martin Colley is being held at the NSA's uh, underground facility. Martin Colley, according to this message I received, is being held at the underground NSA facility. That is what we have received. We want to let the NSA know that you are the likely suspect here. You are the ones who engage in such uh, tactics and we want to let you know that. So Martin Colley, uh, we know, we suspect that you have him and you better not harm him and when you release him you better tell us why you capture him why you are you kidnapped him because that's kidnap i'm trying to get this letter for you to read it i have i have the letter the letter written by some executive members of the of the um 
of the Interreligious Council. They wrote Kotu Kot, Kot, Kot Brown. And Kotu Brown is begging them, is begging them not to let not to go public. And they are planning to go public tomorrow on Friday. They have cited Kotu Brown to a meeting tomorrow for Kotu Brown to explain to them why he is making unilateral decisions unilateral decisions uh why he is making why he is making unilateral decisions without consulting with them this is what i have here a communication uh wakai Kotu brown made those comments unilaterally he did not receive the blessing i got the letter oh yes I got a letter right here. You know, I receive a lot of information from a lot of people. I got a letter that was written to Kotu Brown. Let me read a letter for you. The letter was written December 9, 2019. Bishop Kotu K. Brown, President Interreligious Council of Liberia, Clay Street, Monrovia, Liberia. Dear Bishop Brown. Listen to this. So all that thing Kotu Brown did that statement of condemnation against the COP was unilateral. It did not meet the blessing of the executive members of the Interreligious Council. He did it unilaterally. He did it without their blessing. He been, been running a one man show. He been running a one man <laughs> show, boy. Okay? So the point is, what <laughs> will main run a one man show if they're not money? He and all the men, what in Asia? Musa Bamba, the one who read the statement. So Kotu Brown wrote yeah. the statement condemning the COP. He did not read it himself. He gave it to Musa Bamba. <laughs> For Musa Bamba to read it. So this is the letter that was written to Kotu Brown by executive members of the of the Interreligious Council. You see that? And they told him. And they said, look, we did not authorize you to speak for us. We did not authorize you to speak. Who told you to go and speak? Is here. So Kotu Brown did not meet the did not get the blessing of his members to speak. You see? Let me read this this letter. Dear Bishop Brown, Advent greetings in the name of the Almighty Creator, our sustainer. We, the undersigned executive committee members of the Liberia Council of Churches and the Interreligious Council of Liberia. In most recent times, are very much concerned and troubled about the manner in which the activities of the Interreligious Council of Liberia are being carried out by you and few executive members, excluding the other executive members in making critical decisions and speaking on national matters in the name of the council, which is not sanctioned by the executive council as mandated by our constitution and tradition ah! so the executive committee members are saying Kotu Brown and a handful of loyal loyalists have hijacked the institution and they are behaving like rogue elements <laughs> let me read further we strongly believe that this action a new approach to issues of the council undermine the spirit, unity, integrity, and vision of our founding fathers and the purpose for which the Interreligious Council was organized. And it also sets the pace for mistrust, mistrust, hold on folks, for mistrust, misunderstanding, misrepresentation, misinterpretation, oh, so, 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 mis of facts among us as religious leaders and exposes us to public ridicule. You see this? These other council mm -hmm. members are concerned about their reputation as an institution and as individual religious leaders. And they are saying, you are embarrassing us, Cotton Brown. You are embarrassing us. How dare you take a handful of people loyal to you, go and meet the president, <clears throat> come back from that meeting without consulting us, you issue a statement condemning the Liberian people who want to protest because of the hardship in the country and bad governance, and you make it seem like it is the entire religious leaders in the country that are doing this. It is not us. You see that? Kotu Brown is a disgrace. 
He is a corrupt, sleazy man using uh, 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 using God's name along with other Islamic leaders in who are loyal to him to make some money for them for themselves. Let me read a little further. In view of the above, Mr. President, in order to resolve these issues and other issues not herein mentioned, unfolding within the Council, and in line with provisions of our Constitution, we are compelled to request an emergency meeting of the Inter-Religious Council on Friday, December 13, 2019, at the hour of 10 a.m. in the conference room of the Inter-Religious Council of Liberia. In spirit of mutual respect and maintaining unity within the Council, we kindly request that you mandate the Secretary General of the Interreligious Council to send citation to all executive committee members of the Interreligious Council the soonest possible time. May God Almighty lead and guide us as we strive for peaceful coexistence, harmony, and unity. Mm. Folks, this is the letter. Mm. They wrote Cotton mm. Brown. They wrote Cotton Brown, executive committee members. How many of them signed this letter? Uh, five of them signed this letter. Five of them. Five executive committee members. After Cotton Brown took a handful of his members when he met the president, the next thing you know, Cotton Brown issued a statement condemning the COP. What happened? Cotton Brown took money. That is what Cotton Brown did. These other religious leaders are saying we're not happy about that. Bwaga, let's go to the phone lines. Let's take some calls there. And uh, let's take some calls. Okay, the phone line uh, is now on 0770-102-102-086-010-3830-777-340-737 or the international line is a uh, plus one five ten two nine eight three zero seven seven. Keep your calls coming in. You'll be live on the Costa Morning Show this morning. Today is uh, a Thursday, the 12th day of the 12th month, 2019. Uh, we're discussing a wide range of issues on today's edition of the Costa Morning Show. So keep your calls coming in. You'll be live uh, on the Costa Morning Show. So um, we're okay. anticipating calls. Okay. Um, uh, yes. Let's. Uh, we're taking calls now. I'm putting the uh, US number is also on, and we're taking calls on this as as well. Let's hear you. Uh, we're discussing a host of issues here. The Interreligious Council has trouble in their ranks. They are concerned. Uh, the Executive Committee. They are concerned about the way Dr. Cotto Brown or Bishop Cotto Brown is running the institution, unilaterally making decisions that affect all of them. We're all consulting them and giving them, uh, putting them in a bad place with the Liberian public. And this is very, very bad. It is not good at all. Yesterday, the COP spoke and the COP maintains its position essentially that it will protest on December 30th. And in, and, and in a statement, the COP said, in his letter to the president, it did not say that it will. Uh, it did not say that it will. Uh, is calling for the president to step down. In the COP's official statement, it did not say that. Instead, what the COP said is that um, very, very good. Uh, very good. Uh, let's take this caller right here. Uh, this very first caller. Caller, good morning. Yeah, my name is Amy Collard. They call me from uh, Dickwood and Florida. Uh huh. Uh, give me a take on the uh, the new money. Mm hmm. We all know that the Liberian government uh, does not have credit in what is there. We know that it's in the drink. So there is no way that any country can borrow their money or anybody. I suspect that the money that comes into the country, so we all know that the two years they are a bunch of banks. Okay. So what happens? What happens is that these guys who stole all those money, like the ten billion dollars that that we did, talking about, these guys went to the bank and exchanged for exchanged the money. Okay. So, 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 so,
Okay, my brother. Thank you very much. Your, your line is low. I, I I don't know what is it with this US phone. Okay, when people call the line, tends to, yeah. tends to be low. Uh, let's take some calls there. Uh, let's go back to the lines. Let's take some calls there. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, black eyes. Good morning, Pedro, our hero. No, I wasn't. My name is Noah Dawood Jester. And I call you from Jacob Dawood Jester, number two, as usual. No, Pedro, you know we have an issue this morning. We shall, I mean, a rock in our discourse. But this time we do what I have to do with the money. Uh, <clears throat> ULS, ULS, uh, I'm wondering, you, ULS, wondering as to what the government took the money from, or as to whether they were holding the money when it comes to thinking, I mean, a lot of you. But the thing is that you, I want to believe they held the money. They held the money. Because from several sources, some of all have gotten. The money that is now around here in the GT Bank, the money has 2017 feature on it. Now, this money was taken for the market to create activity to shop to shop by reading the printing of the That was a quite a day schedule and last day to conclude. The one I have to do with the 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 the, the interregional council, don't waste your time on those people. You know, they got some bad stuff in the crew that just decided to lose their respect forever. That is the reason why some of us, we have decided that we're not even listening to some of them. Imagine one of them, I know which one of them the president went to a church. I know you were so happy because of the president's presence. He still can't talk about any leader who has a heart for the people. I mean, I mean, Paul is very old. Uh, 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 so that's how they're behaving here. Thank you. You are not, you are not a religious man. I'm not even really questioning your, your, your faith. But the fact is that you have interpreted religious people here than some of those religious people here. So don't listen to them. As a person who will hold, and we are ready for the government Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, you Noah. Uh, Let's take more calls there. Take Welcome. Up. You're listening to the Costa Show. Today is Thursday. Take more calls there, Waka. Morning, George. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, Heaven Pedro Costa. Good good morning, DJ this Lola. This is DJ Cowell. Costa, let me say thank you for your talking point this morning. And by the grace of God, God, favor will be upon you, which will be guided by the Holy Spirit to come December 19. Look, the money issue, I don't know what the problem is in the era. You think it's anything to buy date or money? It's anything to buy date, anything? Even when any came to power, the money that Jack Taylor printed, when you came, any, any printed some. Because there were so many uh, uh, TMO no, and Eric King went to the company and the company printed it. So this morning uh, we believe that the government printed the money because get to know that Queen International, the, 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 the people were here. They were in this country and we fled that issue and the government now denied. So they came to one direction because I work with two people that they will pay people in December. They will call to print money to pay people. They will print money. And the last time okay, I can't work with make it clear. He said we will pay people and on Christmas they will be singing some oh yeah, oh yeah, it hurting them. So at the end of the day, they are printing the money and brought it. And Tomo goes to listen to Mr. Goto and Nero. Tomo goes to the representative Goto and he said they want to investigate because they try to pull the law maker against the citizen. Why only the law maker will be paying new money and then the, the, the citizen can be writing money, meeting later note. So these are some of the things here. So nobody can say because of 2017, you think I can go back to the, to the company and say print 2017 money, the same thing. You don't need no, no, no extra uh, signature. The pay is already in the people data pay. They can get it and print it and print it on the market. But at the end of the day, what we see here is that they protest in one who for the liberal people to know, for the whole world to know that the liberal people are suffering. And we have got no money to, to lead this country. You know, what this country is now a little. Liberal people are suffering. And this period to hear that this protest more who those that are on the back side that say they come to kind of protest, then listen one of the roof and we put two men on the street who don't listen to him. EFPC giving him time. EFPC ever give the country a picture of time to go on EFPC to, 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 to go and inform the liberal people, but you give it roof and you can So you let us can give for new deal here, it will not even help the government. The best thing the government can do to kind of dialogue. Council of Petra, feeling on the path, the 
you will see the history in Liberia people, and the Liberia people have made up a mind to go on the street that day to protest. Thank you, may God bless the state and say, Bob. Thank you, Costa. Thank you so much, uh, DJ Lomel, for calling in. Uh, uh, keep your calls coming on 0770-102-102-0860-10383 or 0777-340-737. The international number is uh, plus one five one zero two nine eight three zero seven seven. Keep your calls coming in. You'll be live on the Costa Money Show. Um, because if uh, there's no caller here now, so we stay... Mm -hmm. uh, what 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 a line for the women? You remember our sister Fatu Fatu Mata Kenneth asked about that line yesterday. Okay. Yeah, so the women line will be zero seven seven uh six five four nine one two two zero seven seven six five four nine one two two for the women. So uh, that line is exclusively for ladies zero seven seven six five four nine one two two for the women. So. If you are a lady listening to the Costa Morning Show, you want to form part of the discussion, coming up on 0776 549122. Know, Let's take somebody from. Yeah, take that call up, okay? Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, good morning. You're anywhere you calling from? My name is Daryl. I'm calling from the Uru. Welcome, Daryl. Uh, my brother, my, 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 I want to ask you to go with me. I'm going to be a little bit of a champion. I'm going that's where you going on the street for? Yeah. Yeah, just keep uh, listening. Costa will address that, okay? What, what, is, his, what is his question? He said, uh, according to the Council of Patriot on yesterday in their press release, uh, they said that they were not going on the street for President We are to step down, but rather something else. So, what are they going on the street for now? That's his question. Maybe you did not understand the COP. Anyway, uh, we've made our position very, very clear. The, the official letter we wrote to Musa Ding with the Nazi step down. Individual members of the COP want the president to step down, including me. Yeah, and including most of the people. But our official communication did not say step down. But individual members of the COP want the president to step down. So that's this that that's the position. Yeah. So yeah. So let's go back to the lines, boy. Okay, zero seven seven zero one oh two one oh two zero eight eight six zero one zero three eight three. Keep your calls coming in and you'll be live zero triple seven three four zero uh seven three seven. Uh keep your calls coming in. That line is also exclusively for women. Uh there is no call yet, so we stay uh the US number is active. Is uh, I, I just have a problem with it, but I don't know why it seems to be uh, it's a little low. Uh, when the call is lower than the other lines, it's uh, five one zero two nine eight three zero seven seven. That's five one zero two nine eight three zero seven seven. That is the U.S. number, and we're uh, we're very concerned about Martin Cully, and uh, we're told that uh, he is at the NSA. He's been held at the NSA. NSA, whatever for we do not know. Uh, we will, we will have to send a team of people there to go and ask them. But they have this behavior when you go to the NSA and they hold in somebody. They will tell you they don't have the person. Uh, don't be surprised when Soup issues a statement today, uh, or, or also demanding Martin Colley and threatening a protest action. All these things are not good for the country at all. You know, kid, kidnapping people and and torturing people and people getting killed mysteriously and no investigation whatever has come out of the mat i mean the matthew Ines investigation uh, uh, uh boy, nothing we haven't heard nothing. anything about mad uh, about, about him let me take this caller here good morning hey, good morning Harry Costa. can you hear me yes yeah i want to make a recommendation man i think uh, you have to tell us your name chief Yadua. hold on when you oh, call, this, this you say D. your name and where you're calling D. from. This is D and I do call from Colorado. Okay. So my recommendation is in order to, to support the uh what's the thing, the the uh the protest, I think it would make more sense if you come on the on the show at least just ask the listener to say a little data. Since I'm looking at you might need more support when you got there. But some of the information that I do have 
Those guys, we have, they are, I think they are developing some suspension, maybe we don't know, they might be. We gotta get alternative plan, basically. Just in case something else goes the contrary. Because I got sources that told me that uh, they might, they are training guys, that they might let the profit and the rest. So we don't know how reliable that is. So I think the security should be more sophisticated. So my recommendation that would be in order to generate more funds, at least when you're on here, just see if the audience can send at least a data per person. Just okay. imagine when you always have at least a thousand people online. So if everybody gives you a dollar, so there's a thousand everything come up with you. Okay, my brother. You asked me just a reason you did that. You said that the council of Patriot now they have divided as to some individual want to do when the president comes down and some doesn't. So what's the new agenda? I mean, are we going there? We see it coming down or are we going there on the past? Or what do you think? Is it the June 7th? I don't know what, what they're going to get on to because, uh, as you said, uh, that, that didn't sound right to me, so I didn't want you to fully address that. And, but. All right, my brother. Thank you very much. Um, uh, Jeremy, what do you think? Thank you very much. You know, the COP had a meeting. We agreed. We wrote the government. We said what we said in our communication. Uh, we want a we want protection, security to protest, to assemble and protest for several days. And uh, we didn't tell them in our letter that we want to do a step down. But individual members of the COP, that is what they want, including me. That's what I want. I want the president to go. Uh, the president is irresponsible. Uh, he is not fit for the job. The Liberian people have to choose between having him there for the next four years and continue to suffer or pressuring him to go. You know, so let me take another call here. Hello? Hello? Morning. Hey, is this question? Yes. Yes, I want to get you on the Can you tell us your name? Martha Bookie. Okay. You may go ahead. Hello? I, I can hear you, ma'am. You may go ahead. Yeah, my name is Martha Bookie. I just want to say that I've been for every post of a long time. I've not made any comment on this show before. But oh, I'm looking at why I wish my name is Martha Bookie. I'm calling for a long time. Yes, I did, I'm, I've been calling for a long time, but what I want to say is that why we like, why we like, you want to talk? Yeah, I'm talking. Ma'am, you have to move away from your device. You have been confused by I'm listening to your device. But what I want to say is that we gave, I've been following this too for a long time, and I've been. See, now that things are happening, I went to Liberia, I see how, 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 how the hassle is there. I see my husband, oh, they can't be speaking. And then they're talking this in Liberia, we are trying to talk, and that was tough. What are we looking for? What do we want in our people? Do we want our people to continue suffering, or do we want to set them free, or do we want to leave some of us to have all force over there? And we think for our plan to come. What are we waiting for? So of course, I'm going to say thank you very much for what you're doing. Continue doing what you're doing. Those are that. You need to know who follow you. Those are the ones who follow you. They can see. But we are there with you. We pray for you. I'm just glad that we'll be able to be there with you. But thank you very much. And continue doing what you're doing. May the Almighty God be with you. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you very much. God bless you too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, there you have it. Um, uh, you're listening to the Costa Show. We've got 12 more minutes to go. Boga, let's see what else. we got calls on the line, uh, on, on the lines from yeah. Liberia. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, Boga. Good morning, Harry. Morning, morning, yeah, morning, morning, man. I, I, I had a dream about Costa. Your name, and, uh, where you calling from? Your name first. Don't worry about my name. Mm. Go, I go, had go a dream about Costa, and I'm, I'm gifted with that. Mm. That's my calling. I had this dream. I had this dream. Costa came to Liberia. At the airport, they planted people. One of the person was huge, man, bright. 
and the poisoning went straight behind Costa and injected Costa. That's the kind of cave call gave me. What I see in my sleep is what happened. It's no joke about it. So saying yesterday, I wanted to call Costa on your America number, but I don't have his America number. So that's a dream I have about Costa. Those things happen to me 2 a.m. because I'm a very strong praying person. And God can reveal things to me in my dream. So I just want Costa to be very, very careful. Anything God showed me, I dream way back about several things that happened, even including my own son. Including my own son that I born from my stomach. God revealed to me my son was arrested by police in America and it happened. My son was in jail for three months. That like by prayer, God free my son. My children listening there, bro. So that's it. That's the message God gave me. A dream, two dreams. Yesterday I explained to his godfather, you know who am I? My dream is very strict. They injected Costa at the airport. So for me, I don't want Costa to come here. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. All right, Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very, very much. Uh, yeah, people have been having a lot of terrible dreams. The government is very dangerous. They are desperate. We, we know there are threats. They're threatening me. If I go to Liberia, they will do this to me. They will do that to me. But we are praying to God, you know. And some sometimes God reveals to uh, redeem, you know. Sometimes He will show people things, you know, when they see it. And, uh, and 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 he 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 would show people things so that uh, so so that those things do not happen. God works in that way too, but we have to keep praying. Yes, we have to keep praying. Um, let's take more calls there, uh, uh, Let's let's take a few more calls there, and uh, before we close good it. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Where are you calling from? Yeah, this is, this is Noah Sao Jason again. First time for all we to receive. That dream, we are not in any way trashing it or little and we condemning it, but by the grace of God Almighty. As God has revealed it, I know you are going to redeem. Look, we will be on a left on December 19th. I hope that nonsense and foolishness is all. Let me say this, I'm not going to be money on in this. I will say it recklessly more than the way they think that they are reckless. And the same, even baboon, baboon that break on culture. It must just be a kind of baboon that they know they're breaking. But if they don't break the red baboon on culture, no Christmas celebration in the country will be brought to Christmas celebration. Then everything I want to say will spoil it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Noah Zao Gibson, 77 1020 And you know, take folks... Take this person here quickly. Quick. Yeah, take that caller. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, uh, Walker, and uh, good morning, Pedro. My name is Mommy F. Connor, and I call from Johnson Zero. Mommy, welcome. Mommy, you were uh, not feeling too well the last time. How, how, how are you? How are you doing now? I do not take my feet. Okay, very, very, very good. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> oh, he, he left it long already. So, uh, no, he did not. Yeah, leave. Of course, you're saying something. We lost him. His call drive. Mommy, we're very sorry. I hope you called back. Uh, let me take this other call here, Barker, from the U.S. Good morning. Good morning. I mean, good morning to Costa and good morning to Boca, good morning to La Pente, but I want to say another one. Okay. In regard to the lady dream, like I said before, then the project will be for the charity. But if any attempt on Costa, the project is going to stop on the 19th. Any attempt by the government on Costa, the protest is going to start on the 19th of December. Or they regard to the, the one that is around in Monrovia or whatsoever. You got to have to be smart. Even no matter how many million out of the print, 
it will go in two 20 feet container. They have two trucks passing with no money going to the bank or whatsoever. Mm -hmm. There is no way you're going to print up to 100 million and get it in two 20 feet container. Depends on the denomination. Look, I printed excess number of labyrinth dollars just to come up with a guy's salary in Monroe for the same assembly. I have a great setting. No matter what the situation is, we're going to get money, we're going to pay our people. Those guys brought in extra new money, additional money to get a payment done. So that's what happened. But back to Costa situation, if any attempt on Costa left, the protest is going to start with immediately on the damn thing. There is nothing about it. Thank you. All right, my brother. Thank you very much. You see, and I don't blame the Liberian people for saying what they're saying, Boakai. Because the government has shown itself to not be trustworthy. So the people have the right to accuse them or suspect them. Now, Eugene Nangwe is telling the Liberian people that the government did not print any new money. That the Liberian dollars, the brand new Liberian dollars that they're sending to the various commercial banks now, has always been in their vaults. Ah! So the government... The government kept saying for many, many months that they did not have Liberian dollars, right? Today, they're saying to us that, oh, we had Liberian dollars, but we were not giving it to the commercial banks. We are only releasing them now. And you want the people to believe you? So the people don't believe you. They don't believe you. They don't believe you. It is because you lie so much you steal so much that whatever you say, people question it. Now, who's going to believe what Eugene Nagwe said? That the government had, the central bank had this money all along. And they're only releasing the money now. Let's take some more calls. I, I, I have to take this call. Hello. Okay, so keep your calls coming. Let's take somebody from uh, this line here quickly. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Where are you calling from? Hi, my name is uh, John Brown. I'm calling from uh, from the Fourth Street. Welcome, John. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm looking at uh, the the topic discussed right now is like uh, we got to fight to protect Costa, and we are fighting no matter what happens. We will protect Costa. So the dream that other people have is we know God can turn our dream around. So. We will fight no matter what, and we will protect Costa. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for calling in 077-0102-102-086-010-383 or 0777-340737. Uh, keep your calls coming in. You'll be live on the Costa Morning Show so, uh, this morning. So, what? so yeah. the thing is, who's going to believe you? When you tell people you don't have Liberian dollars, then all of a sudden we see brand new Liberian dollars. Yeke Koloba displays the money for everybody to see. Then you want people to believe you that you didn't have Liberian dollars? Or that you printed? Now what are you going to say? Eh? You say the money is new. You say it's new money, but you never had money. And the money was in your vault. Then you're producing the money now. You were not even giving it to the commercial banks. So you were deliberately holding the money or hoarding, that's the word, and denying the Liberian people of money? And, and, and then you say, no, you know, my man, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with money, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, call about a hell of a guy. They got King out of the bank yesterday with all the money in here, my man. New, new, far and out, bill back. So the thing is that, boy, guy, the, the, the point about the money it's got the old signature from I think Milton Weeks' uh, signature is on it. Uh, have you have you seen any blogger? Have you actually held yeah, any uh, in your hand? The the the, the love maker brought you know he was here uh, for the press conference. Yeah, yesterday, so he yeah. Yeke was at the it. station yesterday for the press conference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the point is, Yeke got some of the money and 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 it shows the what the 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 stuff. This is what Eugene Nangwe said. Let me quote him. The Central Bank of Liberia has issued out to commercial banks unused Liberian dollar banknotes that have been in its custody. 
in the vaults. The bank puts out banknotes used and unused from time to time as a routine exercise to meet the liquidity needs of commercial banks. For the record, this administration has not printed any new banknotes. Okay. Eugene Nangwe is telling you they have not printed any money. That the money they have, they're putting out now, is money they have had in their vaults. So, okay, let's assume the government really did have money, but refused to put it out. Do you know how people suffer because of this, Baka? Yeah. People suffer because they didn't have access to Liberian Island. I mean, the other day, somebody told me, a good friend of mine said to me, that he was trying to get money. He had he was, he was trying to get three thousand dollars from his mobile money account. I mean, this is wickedness. People have died because of this. There's a situation yeah, where a lady died. Uh, her her lady lost her child because she yeah. went to the hospital, and they, of course, as you know, they were, they, they, the the hospitals request for a down payment, sure. right? Before they can admit your person, your relative, or your loved one. And the lady went to the bank to get 20,000 Liberian dollars, I'm told. And the bank said they didn't have $20,000 to give this woman. They, they could only give her two or $3,000. And guess what? The lady's daughter died in a hospital because she couldn't get the money to make the down payment. We're told many people have experienced such things. When people can access their money, Susu clubs, people need their money. And you... You are telling us that you've had the money? Okay, let's assume they've had the money. Because we can't prove 100% that they printed new money. We, we cannot prove it. I cannot prove it at least. I have no proof. What we have proof of is that they have put money outside, as the librarian man would say. But the issue here is this, Boakai. So you mean they had money, but they were keeping it? And letting people die and suffer? Huh? The one message... What, what, what message will it send out? Is it that they were trying to, uh, you know, make their sell look good? And they were not like making their sell look good. They were, they were creating a bad image for the, for the, for the government, though. A bad image? Yes, another thing, Boaka. It is the same thing with the money business. That's why when people send money for, for their loved ones from abroad through Western Union money grant, they will compel the people to create a bank account in order to save 25% of the money, which is the Liberian dollar component. With the various commercial banks, yeah. because the government, the commercial banks did not have any money, any any Liberian dollars. Now, also, civil servants who receive a percentage of their salaries in Liberian dollars, I think twenty percent, twenty percent of of their salaries are paid in LD. Their Liberian dollar component, they had not been receiving it for over three months. For over three months. So they will pay you your 80% in USD. Well, those of them who they would pay. But then they would not pay you for... They would not pay your Liberian dollar component. Ah! And you say you've had money? My people, you see how they put weekend? So, let's agree <laughs> that you've had the money. Let's agree that you did not print new money. So, are you now confessing that you have been doing this wickedness to your people? By refusing to supply the commercial banks with badly needed Liberian banknotes, suffocating the banking sector, creating untold hardship, destroying people's businesses. Do you know how many thousands of money changers do money transfer? I mean, mobile money business? Mobile money and orange money. There are thousands of million young men and young men whose business it is to do money, mobile money business. It's a big job creator. Bokai. Yeah. It's a big and job and creator. You, you know, the, the bank can speak on the money, but once it comes to Liberia man, mobile money, I beg you, please, you don't have to go there because we depend 100% now on mobile money. Then the banks. Into IT yes. yes. Yes, most Liberians, I think they they prefer doing it with it exactly. Uh, you know, I mean, I mean, you 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 you're suffocating people's business. You know how many young men every time they send mobile money. Okay, but okay, let's break it down. If I if I send you five thousand dollar on mobile money, Liberian are right now, and you go to withdraw, how much the mobile money person is supposed to receive on it? What's their fee? Yeah, it would be like one fifty. Okay, 
So just imagine, boy. Just imagine the amount of money, mobile money people make. The other day, one of my friends told me he wanted to withdraw 3,000 Liberian dollars from his mobile money account. He walked from Dubo Road Junction all the way to ERW Junction and the guy he met said he only gave him 1,000. You, you mean you did this to people for several weeks? You had money, you kept the money? Because you say you want to, you see why we say the people are in, are incompetent. And they all thing we said before. Saint John, we have won the <laughs> won the presidential. <laughs> we never see the other one before. So you kept money in your vaults at the CBL. You refused to supply the banks with the money. You stifle the country's economy. You stifle liquidity. You created problems that led to people's lives being lost because they could not access their monies in their in their banks in their in their accounts, including their mobile money accounts. And you say, "Oh, we had the money, but we're just keeping it." Ah! And, and, and Costa, we we here in Mosurado can experience a, such a hardship. And you know why they did it, brother? I'm sorry for interrupting you. I'm sorry for interrupting you, brother. You finish that point. And you know why they did this? If they did have the money and refuse to supply and and and, and they and they were hoarding the money, they won't create an impression that they, they brought the rate under control. You yeah, because everything for them is political. You see, for them when they wake up in the morning, even when George we are dresses in a proper suits and he, he takes his pictures and they post them on social media, it's political. When George Weah attends the little programs where he does things that like re-roofing houses in Gibraltar with our country's money, it's political. When George Weah travels abroad and they roll a red carpet out and they put him on a private jet to take pictures with people and post them, it's political. Everything for these people is political. So you're basically saying because you wanted to create the impression that you brought the exchange rate under control so you were prepared to stifle to deny liberian people of access to their own money in the banks in their mobile money accounts because you wanted to reduce the rate jesus christ of nazareth uh, go ahead make your point Barker. yeah so as i was saying uh we here in Mosserado county if we can experience such a hardship in getting our mobile money getting money from the banks what about those in the rural part that surely depend on mobile money from their their sit there they have no bank uh, accounts yeah. thank you joe back in the yeah. day when you want to send money to somebody in zozo in masambola home yeah in kola home you would have to find somebody who go in you send it by them right today sure. you don't need to do it if you're in monrovia you want to send money to somebody like in Kample, Butu, Ba, Ben. You don't need to to send it by somebody who's going. First, pe pe people will find somebody going and they will send the money. But today, all you need to do is that person needs to register mobile money on their phone. You have mobile money. You just send the money to them and they receive it. I mean, it's so easy. Within no time, the money is received. And this is how people depend on our stuff for support. People moving money left and right to each other. And then what do you do? You come to power and you deny people of their money. People can get their own money. Then you say you are doing it so you can create the so the rate can drop. The rate drop, the prices drop. You see what we no. say? The boy know nothing. The rate dropped. Yes. Did prices drop along with the rate? No. Prices did not drop. You know why? Because it is artificial. There's something yeah. called market forces. Market forces in economics, it determines prices and uh, all the mechanisms, including uh, uh, consumer spending, purchasing power, supply and demand. These are all the mechanisms that 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 cause that that that, 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 that what are referred to as market forces. So you have a situation where purchasing power is diminished. You have spiraling inflation increase food prices or food food inflation people have lost their incomes and then you say when you create an an artificial impression that the rate has dropped is going to what do what is it's, it's going to drop prices so commodity prices are going to take a lower uh, 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 they they are going to descend they're going to fall because of that it did not happen it was not an accompanying effect 
the artificial denial, the 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 denial, the stifling of the economy uh, of of, 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 the, of with Liberian dollars. You stifle the economy of Liberian dollars. You stifle the economy of Liberian dollars so as to create an impression to force the rate to drop, and the rate drop, but it did not create the attending effect of reduction in prices because sure. it was not a sound economic policy because you don't know nothing you ain't know a jing thing the, the, the common man can say you ain't know a jing thing so you hold the money you cut what to suffer ah! and, 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 and costa you know uh the issue about the imf of money that they keep on posting on facebook that oh uh, imf have given the government of liberia of money they make it appear that the imf money is there to pay salaries so now they are creating the, the impression that oh we now have money or oh, new money is now on the market if they don't pay employees mm -hmm. their money they are making it be, uh, like oh money is not there the government is about to pay the six the seven month salary that they've been holding if they don't pay employees their salary it's going to be another problem because the imf money that they are talking about is not something that they are going to be paying uh, uh, employees it's not for employees IMF is going to control, yeah it's going to control this particular money yeah so they're making it look like oh now the christmas will be sweet because imf have infused uh, <laughs> uh, uh setting because this is what they do the, the they do deception Walker. they lie to their people they're making this thing look like the i the first the first thing is the first 23 million of this 230 million dollar extended credit facility money to beef up our reserve that was depleted by this government they ate the reserve money that was never depleted they reduced the, the reserve that money the first 23 million does not come until february 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 is when the first trench the first amount of 23 million is to come so you february february we're not even we're not even go to the middle of december year yeah before you talk about the end of december then you're talking about january then february so you do, you will not even begin to feel the impact of that program until that time comes now what are you doing here you're making it you're lying to people and making it seem like the imf the imf has given you free money to spend it is not the case why aren't you honest ever why can't you tell your people the truth that hey this money is to go to beef up our reserve we depleted the reserve we took the reserve money, we spent it on things that don't make sense. Yes, we did it. The IMF told us to stop, we stopped. The money is to go to the reserve. But you're making it low that they gave you money to go spend? Now, let me say something to soup before I go. To all my brothers and friends and sisters in soup, I want to say this to you. Make a humble plea. Your friend, your brother, your fellow com comrade, one of your leaders has been kidnapped. By forces believed to be loyal to the government. Many are saying the suspect is the NSA. Uh, I would not doubt that. You have to stand up. Right now, soup needs to come together. Not just soup, but the Universal Liberian students. You need to come together. Put your disputes, your differences aside. Stand united. All for one, one for all. You need to take action. React to this right now. Martin Collin needs to be set free. And you, the cadre, all of you of soup, you need to come together right now. I hope you're planning to meet or you've already met today. You need to issue a strong statement and be willing, I, I trust you, and be willing to create a situation where the government will have to release Martin Collin. You remember what you all did the last time? It was on December 20th. It was on July 24th or July 25th. I remember. Soup blocked the, 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 the road right in front of the Capitol building. And there was a standoff. And that yielded results. You need to do something like that. It's called civil disobedience. It is not violence. It is civil disobedience. You must all stand together to ensure Martin's freedom. He is held somewhere. Only God knows what they're doing to him. Only God knows what they're doing to him. I mean, this is terrible. And the government does these things, and they, what do they think? They think that the people are going to be happy about this. They're making themselves even more unpopular. 
So soup needs to issue a statement now. And soup needs to be prepared to take action. Somebody tell me, stop pushing the children. What kind of non non nonsense? You fuck by Johnson. Yeah, your knees are fuck by Johnson. You got, <laughs> you got a country lover knee with queen knee, fuck by Johnson. <laughs> Talking about, I'm going to stop pushing the children. I ain't pushing no children here. I just tell you to do what is right. To stand up for Martin Collins. Somebody's son has been kidnapped. Then you can bring you here, here, you can talk about, and uh, start pushing the children, fuck by Johnson. And go, that I can spend my name. C O E S T A. That man, that man, that man, that man, need it. My name is Costa. Now Costa. C O E S T A. Fuck by Johnson. Your ugly knee. So listen, <laughs> soup needs to stand up right now. They need to do something. Create a standoff until the government frees Martin K and Collie. Because if Martin Collie can be kidnapped, he's one of your prominent uh, colleagues. One of your prominent uh, com comrades, if he can be kidnapped, like some regular ordinary person, so could you. So you need you you need to stand up now and do something. Daedo, we will stand with you, but you need to stand up. Thank you very much, folks. God bless you. Have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. And we will be back here. <laughs> Why are laughing at me? Yeah, man. Fuck my Johnson. See, he's, and another small border. Oh, oh, man. He said, now somebody tried to they, they go kid now somebody tried to get and say, stop pushing the children. I don't know what some of some some of y'all can add. Like, you're not get saying in your in your head. You get some somebody child has been kidnapped. We're talking about it. Then because you let it job your man with empty coconut, then you can't stand and you can't talk about and we're not talk about uh, the ball. Martin Colley. Martin Martin Colley, I'm sure that your countryman said that you're not care about that one else. That job we are you care about. Can't talk about stop pushing the children. I tell you the children they will go get on the street now and I said until Martin Collie is, is 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 free. Thank you very much folks. God bless you. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Fuck back. Yeah, you need fuck back Johnson. <laughs> fuck back Johnson. <laughs> I see you, man. Bye bye. I will tell you later, boy. Bye bye. <laughs> fuck back <my> Johnson. <laughs> your your ugly need. Okay. Uh, Facebook live video. Let me end the video. Uh, man. Let's go. Uh,